Hello and welcome back to my channel and if you're new here, hi my name is Mary and welcome to another craft day Wednesday where every Wednesday I post a new video. In today's video we are going to be making a clothespin wishing well. Um, that's just for uh, decoration purposes only and uh, what you're going to need for this project is you're going to need clothespins. I have a couple different sizes or different ones here so you're going to need clothespins um, you're going to need a scrap piece of wood. This is what we're going to build our well on. So you're going to need that. Um, I have a little bucket here that um, I bought from someone that was selling a bunch of them. And I bought a couple of them. You're going to need these little mini skinny sticks if you want to make a fence. So we have that. And you're going to need standard size popsicle sticks if you want. This this is only if you want to make a fence around your well. So we're going to be needing that. And you're also going to be needing whoo, green moss. This is going to be the grass, of course. And you're going to need scissors and what else? In here, you're going to be needing some little stones. I got these right out of my yard. So I'm going to go ahead now. Oh, and you're going to be needing hot glue. So I'm going to go ahead now and turn my camera down so y'all can see what I'm doing. Oh, I dropped one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our little can um, our, and we're just going to glue popsicle sticks around them so this is what we're going to do so this is going to go up just like this and you're just going to keep on going around the whole thing just like this so all you're doing it's just taking these and you're just going around the whole can. And I'm going to do a couple more and I've already have one finished. So I'm just going to go ahead and add, do a couple more. Grab a glue stick. Load my gun. And we're just going to continue to go around. I'll do a couple more. And that's what this got and when you go all the way around and you're going and you're going to do 14 around and then you're going to have your wooden dowel that we have here and this is eight inches and you're going to cut this in half um and when you cut it in half it's going to be you're going to need two of them and they're going to need to stand eight inches tall and um i already got one done so this is what it looks like once you go all the way around the whole um, can so like I've mentioned before you're gonna go all the way around and then you're gonna take your wooden dowel and once you cut it you're gonna glue it right up against there just like this and this is what it's gonna look like so now what I'm gonna do make sure y'all can see I got another I got a wooden dowel here and it's four inches long and all you're going to do is take that and you're going to glue it right on top, just like this. So you're going to put a dab of glue here. And we're going to put another dab here. And we're just going to go ahead and stick this right on there. And we're going to hold this here for a little bit and let that dry. So now that that's drying, let's set it to the side. So we have another scrap piece of wood here, and this is what we're going to use when we do get ready to do 
the brick uh when we get ready to do um the roof on our bridge so yeah so let's set these to the side so we're going to go ahead and glue these on So we're just going to get right on the edge. And we're just going to make sure that it's, and we're just going to go all the way down. And um, yeah, I might as well just put that there. And we're just going to continue to go all the way across with this. So now we're going to go ahead and add the last one. Let's grab a glue stick. Stick that on. Just like that. So now I'm just going to go ahead and, and place these. So now I'm going to go ahead and put some hot glue across here. Just like this. And all we're going to do is just hold these together like this. Actually, yeah, like this. And I'm just going to hold this here for a minute and let get, allow this time to dry. But while I'm waiting for that to dry, I am going to take my twine. So now that we've set that up to dry, we're going to take our twine. I, for, I forgot to mention this, but you're going to need some twine. And we're just going to go ahead and put this right across here. Just like that. So I'm just going to grab some hot glue. Put a little uh we're just going to put a layer in there. And we're just going to go ahead and I'm just going to stick this on just like this being very careful that you don't burn your fingers. So I'm just going to add a little bit of hot glue there. But I didn't get enough in there like that. And then I'm just going to put a little bit here. And then we're just going to hold that down. Now we're going to take our scissors and we're just going to cut away the extra. Now we're going to go ahead and do the same thing again up here. So once again, we're just going to add some hot glue across the top, just like this. Then we're going to take our rope or our twine, and we're just going to stick that down up in there. And I'm just going to push with my fingers and make sure we get that down up in there. Put a little bit down there. Hold that for a minute. And we're just going to cut away the extra. Stick that there. And now I'm just going to clean off my desk. Now, before I put this on in place, I am going to take a little piece of my twine and I am going to go ahead and I am going to wrap it around here. I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. I'm going to turn that so y'all can see. I'm just going to go ahead and continue to wrap. Actually, 
actually, yeah. So I'm just going to cut a little bit off because I don't honestly think I need that much. So I'm just going to cut some of this off. And then I'm just going to go ahead and wrap this around like so. And now I'm going to go ahead and put a dab of hot glue right here. And then I'm just going to hold this down just for a minute. Let that dry without burning my fingers. So we have that. And I am just going to go ahead and cut a little. Now I'm going to go ahead and take my bucket. And I'm just going to put my bucket like this. I'm just going to go ahead and tie a little knot. And um, we're going to go ahead and secure that with a little bit of hot glue. So once again, you're going to grab your hot glue, put a dab of hot glue there, and you're just going to go ahead and twist this up and hold it for a minute. And now we're just going to cut off that little piece that's sticking up. And we're just going to put our, our down, put our bucket down off in there like that. Now, I'm just going to cut off these little strands. Not cut, you don't have to because they're not going to be seen. And I'm just going to go ahead and place this. So now we're just going to add some hot glue. And we're going to do a good amount of hot glue right across the top. So make sure you, you do a good amount because you want to make sure that this stays in place. And then we're just going to go ahead and set this right down on there, making sure everything is nice and even. So I'm just going to hold this here for a minute to allow it time to dry because I put a good amount of glue. So I want to make sure that everything is going to dry properly. Now what I'm going to do, I'm just going to set that off to the side. Let's move this here. I'm going to turn this back. So while that's going ahead and finish drying, I am going to grab my, my green moss. This is where it gets kind of messy. And then we're just going to go ahead and go around the, the base of our our base we're going to add the hot glue around the base and we're just going to go ahead and stick this right down on top so yeah just like this and we're going to leave that spot open because that's where we're going to stick the whale so now let's go ahead and do this side. And then we're just going to go ahead, stick this here, just like this. Now I am going to go ahead and set my well right in the middle. And I'm just going to pull this back. So now I'm going to go ahead and we're just going to add um, some hot glue in the middle. And you want to do a, a good amount. That way you know it's sticking in place. I think that's good. And now just grab your well and just set that right in the middle and you want to hold it down put a little pressure on it to hold everything in place and now I'm just going to continue 
to go around my well. Now, I'm, I'm not sure if I'm going to do a fence or not. Now that I have it in place, I don't know if I want to do a fence. I mean, it's really up to you if you want to or not, but... I don't I don't think I'm going to do one. I was going to, but I changed my mind. So I'm grabbing some more of the moss. And I'm just gonna go ahead and stick this all the way around the bait the well. Now let's do the back. So we're just gonna stick some hot glue in the back, back here. Stick that there, just like that. And I'm just going to grab some hot glue, put a little bit down here. Oops. So I'm just going to move this out of the way. And I'm just going to see, maybe I will go ahead and do a fence. Let's see. I'm just going to do one just to see what it's going to look like. Yeah, I think um I think I'm going to leave the fence part out. I think I'm just going to leave it and then I'm just going to add my stones. And I'm just trimming off some of the, the grass so it's not looking so wild. Okay, so I'm now I'm just going to go ahead, set this here for a minute, and clean up my mess. So I'm going to get this all cleaned up. So now that we have everything all cleaned up, I'm going to grab my stones and we're just going to go ahead and place them around the well. So let's dump them out so we can see what we have here. Um, so I'm just going to grab a glue stick, put a little bit of hot glue on the back of the rock, and then we're just going to stick it in place. And there's no particular order that I'm doing this. I'm just sticking some rocks around. I just think the the rocks add a little more, give it a little more character. So we're just going to go ahead and do that. And I'm just going to stick a couple more. Basically, I'm just going all the way around the well. And I'm just using a couple different colors. And I'm just going to put a couple back here. Let's put one here, like that. Put another one right here. And I think we're done. So I am just cutting off some more of the grass. Put our stones back in our cup. And that is it. And here is our little well. Here we have it. That's it. So yeah, um, that is it. Here it is. Our little well. Oops, one more thing that I forgot to do before my little crank. We're going to go ahead and add this. I almost forgot. So I'm going to turn my camera back down real quick. So we're just going to put a little bit of hot glue. And we're just going to go ahead and add our crank on. And we're just going to hold this here for a minute.
I'll give it a time to dry. And there we have it. So we added our little crank. Let's try this again. So yeah, um, if you like this video, please give me a like and a thumbs up. Please feel free to share this video with your family and friends. And if you are not already subscribed, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you can become part of my YouTube family and also set your post notification. That means ring the bell. That way, every time I post a new video like this one, you will be notified. And uh, yeah, with that being said, thank you all so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my videos. And I hope you all have a very nice night. Bye.